In this video, I am going to talk about a few more frequently asked questions on variable uh, selection. The first question that is often asked is uh, what is uh, forward selection of variables? Now this is a very uh, popular uh, way of selecting variables in uh, regression uh, models. So, uh, so what is it? Uh, so let's say uh, there are p number of variables we have. We have got p independent variables, right? Um, so in forward selection of variables, what is usually done is uh, we first regress the dependent variable with uh, each of these p independent variables. So when there is only one independent variable involved in a regression, we call it as a simple uh, linear regression. Right. So we perform p number of simple linear regression in the first step and then we compute the uh, residual uh, sum of square or known as the RSS uh, for each of this model, right? each of the simple uh, linear uh, regression model. Right? So we always expect that the, uh, the residual sum of the square should be uh, minimum. right? So if, if for a variable it is minimum then it it's is the best variable right um, that means it actually uh, is very close to or it actually uh, explains the variation in the independent variable right so we arrange the uh, p independent variable uh, with uh, respect to the uh, uh, residual sum of square right so the one which has the least residual sum of the square is picked off first and then uh, used in the uh, model, we run it, we run the regression again, and then we uh, select the next uh, next um, variable in the list that means based on your uh, residual sum of square. So, the one which is uh, having next to the list uh, sum of square, so we take that and so on, right? We uh, you know first arrange it in the ascending order. Um, and then select one by one, right? And we also see the significance level, right? Um, so we we keep on adding variables to the model with uh, the lowest R, uh, residual sum of the square uh, and uh, the next lowest residual sum of the square and the next and and so on, right? And then we set up the minimum significance criteria, right? So, you know, to, to, for a variable to be part of the model, we ensure that it should have a minimum uh, significance criteria. That means the p value has to be um, somewhat okay. So, usually it, it is 0 0.05, but, uh, you know, you can actually change. You, you have perfect control over uh, the p value. You can set up your own p value. But by default, in most software, it's 0 0.05, right? So, that's why you, you start with... Uh, a null model right without any independent variable and then take the uh, first variable with the least uh, rss and take the next variable once the variable is included in the model it will never be dropped from the model so that's a criteria for forward selection right so and the moment the uh, minimum significance criteria is not met uh, we do not go further and we stop there right so that's the way we, uh, you know, perform the forward selection of variables. So we reject a number of variables in this process, which do not really meet the uh, significance criteria. Um, that means the p-value uh, is greater than 0 0.05 or any cutoff value that we have set uh, for this uh, for this purpose. The next one is the, uh, what is uh, backward selection. Well, backward selection is actually opposite of forward selection right um, in the forward selection we started with a null model and slowly slowly uh, or step by step we added one variable uh, you know more significant variables and went to the least significant variables and stopped at a point at the cutoff point right we do uh, the exact opposite we start with all p number of variables right and then we do the regression and you will see that a number of variables uh, out of these p variables uh, are very less significant 
right? So we again set out the cutoff score. Let's say the p value is again 0 0.05 is the cutoff. So when you take all independent variables and then do the regression, you will see a number of these p values, a number of these uh, independent variables has an estimate with p value greater than 0 0.05. So you just drop in the next step, you just drop the one which is the least significant and run the regression again. And then again drop the one, the variable with least, uh, which is least significant. And then again run this regression. You keep on doing that till the point where all your variables are meeting the, the cutoff criteria or the, uh, the uh, selection criteria. Right? So um, we we simply do exact exact opposite thing. We keep on dropping variable instead of including variables or adding variables. In, uh, unlike forward selection, right? The next question is what is stepwise selection? Stepwise selection is also known as mixed selection. It combines both forward and backward selection. So it, it, it uses the uh, benefit of forward selection and backward selection and combines and you know do a better job most of the times. So what it does is that um, you a variable which is included in forward selection can also be dropped at the later stage. Right? So the good thing about uh, forward selection is that you actually include the good variables or the most likely to be significant variables. Uh, but the bad thing about the forward selection is that once a variable is included, you can never drop it again. The good thing about backward selection is that you can actually drop variables uh, at any point of time uh, in the selection process, right? But the bad thing about uh, uh, about backward selection is that you start with too many unwanted or unnecessary or not so important variables, right? So how do we combine? We perform. We start with uh, you know the forward selection criteria in in stepwise and take only the most significant variables by you know the cutoff criteria, uh, the p values, right? And go on adding one after the other go on adding one after the other uh, and see the significant value. But every time we find a variable to be not significant later point of time, even after getting added to the model, we can also drop it from the uh, regression. So the steps are like that. Say for example, we have got three variables um, and then Let's say x1 is the most likely to be significant. That means when we do first do the uh, simple linear regression, that means uh, y with respect to x1, we found that x1 is having the least uh, RSS, right? So that's included first. And then in the next step, we have got x2, which is the next variable to be included with, based on the RSS. And now we have got x1 and x2 in the model. Now again, we check the significance value. Now let's say, the p value of x1 which was earlier good in the first step now with in the presence of x2 has gone up right in forward selection we cannot drop it we have to keep it but in stepwise we can actually drop this variable so we can drop x1 from the model and we only have x2 now in the third step let's include x3 which is the next candy now we again do the regression with taking x2 and x3 and see if both are significant. If both are significant, we'll keep them. If one of them is not significant, we'll again uh, drop. So the point here is that the moment there are a number of very independent variables, uh, a variable may be very good independent as an independent variable. That means uh, when it's it's alone. That means it's alone in the model. Uh, but when it is there in, in presence of a number of other variables, it may not be a significant variable or it may not be a very important variable. So we also try to find out the fact that a variable is not only very important when it is alone in the model, it should also be very important when it is combined with a number of other variables. So this is very important step in multiple regression where we use a number of variables for doing the predictive model. Next question is what are the main model statistics that uh, is usually uh, you know checked before 
we we say that uh, if, you know um, the variable selection is is something that is getting affected because of the statistics. So uh, the main uh, model statistics uh, which are usually used for variable selection are the adjusted R square first. So uh, the variable which increases the adjusted R square should be retained in the model or should be part of the model or con should be considered as an important variable. Um, there are two other uh, statistics which are also important. The one is uh, Akaic information criterion and the Bayesian uh, information criterion or popularly known as AIC and BIC. So we always expect that AIC and BIC should be list. So if we add a variable and which, which decreases um, AIC and BIC normally doesn't happen. I mean you keep on adding variable AIC and BIC are likely to go up. But you can actually keep on you know taking different set of variable and see where exactly AIC and BIC are list and that set of variables are actually preferred. right? So you know this model statistic also help us in finding out the best set of variables uh, for a particular model. Thank you.